colleges, those lobsters have been in long enough. It's time to give the Democrats a chance. Uh, something ought to be done about these hard times. Too many people out of work. I see Peggy Joyce is married again. These hard skates are simply terrible. All they do is... Do you want the Democrats in? Why, well, they're talking about running Woodrow Wilson for president. Imagine, a college professor president. May I have the next dance now? Certainly, Willie. Thank you. Do you like moving pictures? Moving pictures? No, I think they're terrible. They're all terrible. Have you seen the new Bygrass girl? Oh, I think she's awfully cute. I wonder what's her name. Mary Packer. No, it isn't. It's Mary Sixers. My brother works in the moving picture house, and he told me. They say she makes lots of money. Yes, $10 a day. Imagine that. I told them to leave it to me. I know my parsnip. Anything more? No, thanks. No more for me. I could drink this stuff by the hour, but that hard stuff, Nick, not for me. Oh, oh, something terrible has happened. What? Jenny Blair is intoxicated. Intoxicated? Yes. <laughs> Impossible. She is. Where is she? We've hidden her in there. Where? Oh, come on, let's do something. We can't. Oh, like
Mary. What's the matter with you? Well, I guess I'll be rushing along. Yeah. See you soon. Oh. All right, Mrs. Judge. Good night. Good night. What's the matter, honey? Gee, I thought I was going over like wildflower. Yeah. Don't, don't you like me anymore? Yeah. Of course I like you, Jimmy. That's why I don't like to see you drink. Well, what's a fellow going to do when everybody else does it? <laughs> you don't want me to look like a sap, do you? Wouldn't you be so bad if it were good liquor? Oh, I'm sorry I made you feel that way, honey. Everybody else thought I was a wow. It isn't so funny to anybody who really loves you. Do you really love me, Flory? Did, did you ever take a good look at me? Why, of course, Flory. <laughs> I know I'm not so hot when it comes to looks, but... On the level, Flory, do you really love me? What do you think, Jimmy? I think you do. But I like to hear you say it. Come on, say it. Will you, huh? Will you? Will you, huh? Will you? I love you, Jimmy. If you'll marry me, I'll never take another drink as long as I live. On your honor, Jimmy. On my honor. Will you? Like you. <laughs> uh, well, let's drink. 
cold, man. Boy, if I drink any more of this sarsaparilla, I'll pop. Hey, I tell you, you know, Eddie, I tell you, it, it knocks you cold when you think of that kid. That's what you'll think now. But wait till she looks up at you and calls you, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Little homemade vine with hot water when you got a cold. Say, wake your cold with a 
hot mustard bath. <laughs> but God forbid you get sick. Yeah. In case you need anything. Yeah, that we do. We'll send for you, Doctor. Good evening, everybody. Oh, Dr. Corn. My, 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 what a beautiful child you got. Can I know as a young chap, no bashri, and baruf, with muslin, with gleek, and with broche. And I hope they keep up their payments. <laughs> What's the matter? Little darling. Well, kind of sore. Yeah. Where's it hurt? Here. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> the fella Cohen gave her a pain in the neck. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. He gives me a pain, too. But it ain't in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Try some more potatoes now. Come on, get a little that's meat on it. Johnny? I was in my job. They gave me the balance. Oh, that's tough. Come on, my Jim Bob. Don't worry. It won't be hard for you to get another job. What do you talk? All of a time, they're laying off for the people. Yeah? And me, with <laughs> Santa Maria, what I'm going to tell of my wife. Ah, uh, come on with me, Johnny. I thought I was worried sick about my kid, but I didn't let him get my coat. I said to myself, Jimmy, what you need is a good shot under your belt. So I got myself a couple of snifters, and the first thing I knew, everything was okay. <laughs> hey, bartender, give, a, give my pal a shot of that good scotch. What do you have? Oh, give me some sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? Yeah. What do you think this is? A pansy bed? Yeah. <laughs> well... Okay. Well, Tony, here's to a new job and a better one. Thank you. Hello, sir. Wait, wait, Jimmy. I don't know. I'm worried about him. He's always home early on Saturdays. Uh, I guess he's been held up at the works. Maybe he has. You'd better run along, Johnny. I'll call you up later. All right, ma'am. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Wilson. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Johnny. We're going to have chicken. Good night, Mary. I'm going just the same. Good night. Do you think there's been an accident at the mill? Well, don't you worry, Floyd. Nothing's happened. He'll be home soon. Well, they do have accidents, don't they? It couldn't be anything else. You sing bass, yeah? Oh, there we go. Horsey, keep your tail up, keep your tail up, keep your tail up. Keep your tail up. Horsey, keep your tail up, keep the sun out of my eyes. <laughs> oh, 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 shut up, it's all over with. Listen, you know... I'm a religious guy. So am I. Oh, why, the wife and me, we go to church every Sunday. Nothing like real Irish music after all. You too, boy. I guess I better go home. Well, so I'm fellas, I'll see you all in jail. Here, have one more on me. It's my turn to buy. No, I guess I had enough. Oh, oh come on. Go on, Oh, well, all right. <laughs> one more won't hurt me. Will you ring again, please? There must be somebody there. The Weldon Rolling Mills. Hello, hello. Oh, the work's closed at noon on Saturdays. There ain't no one here. I said no. Well, he isn't there. <coughs> hey, old Sam, and those dumb heads over in the rolling mills that listen to me... I got an idea where they could turn out twice as much tonnage as they're doing right now. Yeah. Yes. 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 And, and they could do it the same amount of men. Take a change out of that. Oh. Why, Mr. Edison. What's that crack, huh? Where do you get that stuff? Come on, honey. 
go and put you to bed now. No. Can't go to bed until Daddy comes. Oh, come on with Nanny, dear. You're sleepy. No. I'm sleepy. Gotta wait for Daddy. and go to Coney Island. thinking of myself. Oh, no, you haven't, Jimmy. You've always been so good to us. You've been good about everything, but... But, but not about that. But I've been selfish. Uh, I don't mean anything to me, Flory. Why well, can quit just like that? <laughs> and I will quit. I'm finished now. Honest. I ain't mad at you, Mama. She doesn't think so. Hey. Red. <laughs> oh, sweet dog. <laughs> Look, Flory. I brought you some roses. Red. <laughs> Because you always said they reminded you of my nickname, Red. <laughs> I got a lot. Uh, I guess I must have lost the rest of them. <laughs> well, that must have been the best one. It stayed. Good night, 
night, Mommy. Good night, darling. I think well. Tuck me in, Daddy. Sure. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, this side isn't tucked in tight enough. Gertrude one too. <laughs> Is it all right, Mama? Kiss a potato. Gee whiz. You, you girls certainly did a swell job. Uh, how do you like that? Okay. Oh, it's dummy. Oh, you're so silly, Steve. This place is swell on the square. It's great. You know, I'll bet you that the, the Vanderbilt house don't look half as nice oh, as right. this does. Come on, darling. Did, did, did you go to church this morning? I did. Did, did you go yourself? Yeah. Oh. Jimmy. Okay. You have to receive the guests. Yeah. Receive them? <laughs> what are you doing? Duking it? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> so they're going to get married at last. They certainly are. <laughs> well, I hope Johnny don't make a bum job of it like I've done. What do you mean? Oh, well, Flory, you know the way I've acted. Jimmy, you're the dearest and most foolish egg in this whole world. Red. Yeah. You remember how we used to say that? Sure. Sweet stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I've got a surprise for you. Yeah? Look. Huh? Lavender? Gee, <laughs> have I got to wear that? That's what the fashion page says. Yeah, I know, but why the, the fellows will laugh at me. But, Jimmy, it's the fashion. Yeah? Well, <laughs> all right. Now, you'll hurry up, won't you, Jimmy? Sure. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Oh, 
You gotta promise me something. You're not gonna wear that with any other girl. There ain't no other girl. I'll sing it for you if you want me to. Oh, I know. I got it. Did you? Come on over here. Nice books here. Yes, I always used to read a lot. Oh, that's that's about the mockingbird that lost its mate. Uh. Oh, dear, folks, stop. Hello, Mrs. Duffy. How are you? Hello, boy. Hello, Jim. How are you? Boy, I've never got your ears clean. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 My fiance, Miss Wilson. How do you do, Miss Wilson? I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Craig. Danny told me what a fine man you are and how good you've been to him. He's a fine boy, Miss Wilson. I think so, too. If Miss Wilson will allow me to say so, I think you have shown very good taste, Johnny. <laughs> See, I'm tickled to death that she'll have me. Say, I'm to go with that guy Craig myself. <laughs> Wait, Craig, I met him once before. Oh, sure, oh, Craig. You remember me? I'm the gink that fixed your plumbing once. Eh? Oh, yes, to be sure. Well, <laughs> how are you? We're fine, Mr. Craig. Fine, fine. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I live and breathe 
I'm sorry, but I've got to catch a train to the country, Mrs. Wilson. I'm afraid I shall have to be getting along. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Craig. You won't hold this against Nan, will you? Hey, what's the matter? What's the idea? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't go yet. Why, the party ain't begun. No, sir. Sit right down and make yourself at home. I'm sorry, <laughs> sir, but I've got to go. Yeah, but what would our party be without our big shot? I'll sit around. Jim, <laughs> I'll get come you. on, Jim. Jim, 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 Jim. Jim. So, oh, sit down. Oh, well, what's that? <laughs> well, oh, he went, didn't he? Well, all right. Let the big stiff go. We can have a better time without him, huh? Hey, Molly. What do you say we get down to some serious drinking, huh? Just shoot. I got a bottle. <laughs> I've been robbed. Oh, what will they think of us? What would Mr. Craig think of me? Oh, that's all right. He's a great guy and all that. He's not going to run my life. But after all he's done for you, you lose his health now and you lose the chance of your life. What if I do? I can get another job. Another job? Gee, Nan, don't take it so hard. Oh, Johnny, you'd better forget me. It's not going to do you any good to talk with our family. We'll just drag it down to the last. Now, honey, how can you say a thing like that? Well, how can I say it? Because it's true. It's true, you'll see. I know Jimmy, he can't pull up. He'll get worse and worse, he can't help us. He's my brother and I love him. He can't help us. He can't help us. Oh, please, go. Please don't, man. Please go. I'll phone you in the morning, darling. You'll feel better then. You know what you're doing, Jimmy. You're earning your own life and everybody else's. You're just a bum, that's what you owe. I guess you're right. I know I'm right. I won't let you wreck Mary's life. You're not fit to live in the same house with us. Just a bum. Just a bum. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. All right. I'll get out. I didn't mean it, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I, 
I didn't mean it. I'm sorry I lost my temper. I'm sorry, Jenny. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep all night. I couldn't live without you, Jenny. I love you, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> That's fine, Miss Maslow, Miss Crick. But he must be here soon, huh? I hope so. I can't tell anymore. Maybe you can come back tomorrow. No. I'll wait. Well, Wilson, how about paying your insurance? Already it's long past overdue. I paid one payment myself. Thanks. That's for both. Yes, that's right. Thank you. We ought to cash in on that policy. We could get enough dough to move out of this dump and live in a decent place. No, Jimmy. Whatever happens, we hold on to this. You're right, Mrs. Wilson. You never know. Sickness, back in the family. Oh, for the love of cheek, get out. Sure. You listen to your wife, Mr. Wilson. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 It's in a pencil factory in Patterson. In New Jersey? Yeah. Oh, but no, not so far away. Oh, I'm going to live over there. I looked up a cheap room. I can still send you five dollars a week. Oh, don't you worry, Florence. I've been wanting to get away from New York for a long time. I keep running into Johnny. You ought to marry Johnny. We can get along without your help. I don't think you can, Jimmy. As soon as school stops, I'm going to get myself a job. That'll help. Won't it, Daddy? Sure. That'll help. Well, why don't you bust out and say what's on your mind? Telling a fellow feel like a dirty dog. Oh, this place gives me the willies. Good luck to you, Jimmy. Oh, I'm going to put that 4,000... There you are. 
Cashing in that insurance policy. We could both go with him when we catch him feeling better. Yeah. He would get the money and put it away. I don't like to do it. But you could make it last long enough to take care of Mary. What are you doing up so late? I couldn't sleep. I didn't feel good. Well, what's the matter? Well, I don't feel good because... Because you don't feel good. Mommy. Yes, dear? Do you trust in the Lord? Of course, child. And you? Why, certainly, Mary. Well, Granny said all the trouble with people is that they don't trust in Him. My baby, we all believe in Him. Just think, Flory. The $4,000, oh, we could do so many things. Well, I give that a short Oh, sure. You do not mind if I change my clothes. She's so much more uh, comfortable. Yeah. What you read? Oh, that's a pretty good racket, running in booze from Canada. For six million dollars. Oh, that man Kent. I know him. Yeah. Oh, maybe I could get him to let you in on one of his deals. Six million dollars. <laughs> That's a lot of dough. 
<laughs> we'll get along. We'll get along. When Daddy comes back. That rail, you, you'll be breaking it. Nor is Mary till her mother gets back. I'll be going to the market. And mind you behave and leave that radio alone. Wow, Mary. Again, dear radio audience, remember, if you only would look for it, the world is... I am the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. for a job? Well, I could use a man. But you don't look any too strong. Oh, I'm all right. Give me a chance, will you? All right. Hand him a pick there, Charlie.
can't do this kind of work. Find something lighter. Oh, <laughs> 
Jimmy. Yeah, it's closed. Can you imagine Jimmy. that? Oh, Jimmy, why? They're going to install my new system. What's that? Are they really doing it? Are they really doing it? Cast your eyes on that. <laughs> Why, Jimmy, that makes it all over to me. Sure, as it should be. That's great. I always needed a rich relative. Not me. There's the First National Bank. <laughs> Say, Florrie, now that I'm working for you, what's my salary? Well, uh, I'll have to think about it. Oh, that's too much. Couldn't work for that. <laughs> Seems to me you're using an awful lot of canned goods in that family of yours. Have you ever eaten any of her cooking? Y yes. <laughs> I'd rather have a can of beans with that in the back of the red. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Well, well, what's the news? Peggy Joyce is married again. You don't tell me. Well, well. Well, now listen. We've got a great idea. They're crazy about my idea. Instead of using the old, you know, the old trucks carrying stuff down, we don't do that. No! Oh, Bill, the run's down to the pots. Now, here's a pot here. Here's another pot here. Jimmy, uh, your eyes are all shiny. Yeah, and then, then the men come down and they pick the stuff off the belt, you see?